hello in this uh, video I will be explaining you how to scan uh, your exam papers or assignment papers and upload it to the Moodle app using mobile phone now what you need is importantly one is scan quality it should be good enough to read second one the file size should be very small and it should be in the PDF format for this you require a cam scanner app or uh, any other uh, scanning app you can use it but here I am explaining with the cam scanner app as an example you should be ready with the your sheets that needs to be uh, scanned in this demonstration I have taken three pages more than one page remember I have taken more than one page uh, three pages something like this I have it and I have marked the lines so that it is easy for me to scan to the edges so I used a scale and put the lines that will be easy for me to identify the edge most importantly don't write on the back side of the page it reduces the quality of the scan you can see here intentionally I have written on the back side you can see some markings over in the background so that will appear in the scanned pages so avoid writing in the back side of the page then uh, further in the future uh, further uh, videos part of the video you will see this kind of box it means you have to click at those particular locations so you can pause the video and you can try it out yourself uh, in between now let me go on explain uh, how you do it you have to open the cam scanner app first when you open the cam scanner app it looks like this here at this particular point uh, for the uh, camera logo uh, uh, camera option you have to click once you click you get this particular uh, window okay you will be able to see the background in the ca it's a camera first select the docs here document you are going to select then we are going to use batch mode here it is this is the batch mode you can see multiple pages here we will be taking multiple pages not one page so if you are using only one page this is the option if you are going for more than one page this is the option so there are more than one page you can see here next step we will have to set uh, the entire settings here to customize first is this HD it's written HD here we do not want very high quality uh, papers so you can set the quality to low quality 1 megapixel 1 M stands for 1 megapixel or you can go up to 3 megapixel 1 megapixel will be around your 3 pages it comes to around 100 or 150 KB or it will be less than that uh, so maximum you can go up to 3 megapixel the clarity will be very high then the next part is this one this particular setting uh, you have to select here it uh, magic color option is there that is good enough original quality light dark mode gray mode all those options are there just don't just avoid that use only magic color option next third one here these three dots what you see in this you get the grid line option you can you may use it or you may not use it it's all up to you if you use the grid line it is easy to align the entire page to the camera angle next start scanning just you have to click on once the settings are over you have to finish it and remember this scan settings what you have done it is permanent for up to next uh, time you, uh, until you change the settings it will remain as it is so you have to start scanning by clicking on this camera and it is continuous that is page number one click page number two click like that it goes on you can see the number increasing here so I, by this time I have clicked three uh, images so I can see three number here right so this you have to continue up to the last page and that is in sequence now let me explain only one page first same way I have done for other pages so once you click uh, but completely it is over once you have clicked uh, let me come to this once you have clicked this at the last part for the la after the last page you will click this particular uh, forward link there you come across this particular thing uh, page border setting option so you have to manually you have to set it for each page so you can scroll uh, uh, left side or right side you can scroll left or right uh, the, on the image uh, and you can go navigate through the pages each page you have to set it like this that is to the exact border all right so similarly other pages also I have done it here once it is done at the bottom of this you will see this a tick mark once everything is over all the pages are over this tick mark you have to click unless before you click the tick mark ensure that you have aligned it to the proper border just by navigating through the pages all pages then once that is done you will end up with this particular uh, uh, folder it's a folder so it, these are all images this is image number one image number two image number three I have three images here all the images are visible here listed out here and uh, here there is a file name this file name already have written like this 
if for in your case it will be some random number date time and all those things will be there now you have to change the folder name now i'll give you a setting wherein this will be permanent permanent in the sense next time also when you scan it the same number will appear same file name will appear if this is the case it is easy to rename you don't have to type everything uh, delete the previous one and uh, edit with the new name thing you can make it uh, some customized one uh, for example here i written 16 bit 801 for the next scan it could be 802 it just have to change the 2 uh, that way i'll tell you so you just have to click this particular uh, file name then this particular window appears here there is an option called a set default doc name click on that once you click it the page will be like this all right so here there is a name you just have to type the name so uh, uh, keypad will open so you have to remove everything what is there you have to number it uh, or name it the way you want usually you can write usn followed by course or course followed by usn preferred is course followed by usn once that is done you have to save it it will uh, go back to same page here you have to click ok by that time you can see that this particular name is it's renamed click ok once you click it ok the same this particular page will come like this in my case i have not changed the file name so this pipe this particular uh, image and this particular image looks similar or same so this is the result page once that is done you have to create the pdf in the same page where you have renamed and seen the images three images are there you have to click this pdf option click the pdf option it will take you to the next uh, uh, page where you can see the pdf this is the pdf all pages are in sequence you just have to scroll upward here scroll upward page one two three this is page number one page number two and next is page number three so you'll have to scroll upward and you'll see that it is cut to exactly the size the way you wanted you have cut it earlier then you have to click on the share now the thing is you have to store it to your mobile memory do not share it to google drive or anything if you share it to google drive or anything the link cannot be uploaded to moodle you have to store it in your mobile i am explaining you that particular procedure that's very very important this step is most important so when you click share this uh, it, this particular uh, window pops up there is one link called as save to local i have observed that for different mobiles this particular option is slightly different but keyword is local and there will be floppy disk kind of symbol so this is keyword so just check out, check out the options uh, the different options you may get it based on your apps what you have in your mobile uh, but this is very important save to local is the option that means local memory it will save so click that now once you click that sorry once you click that one message pops up at the bottom here saying that that particular file is stored at particular one location right the pdf is stored into your local memory this is over cam scanner part is over here but you have to find out where it is now we have to verify that it's correct so in your uh, mobile usually there is something called as file manager or folder from mobile to mobile this will vary it will have different names for different mobiles usually when you get into this you can see different folders for images videos downloads like whatsapp image uh, and video folders uh, here you also see that internal memory and external memory size how much is consumed uh, all those details you can see in this particular folder option so that particular folder where it is in your mobile you have to configure yourself now it looks like this that particular folder look like this and this will be open in your case i have clicked on this the next one the folder image is there i've clicked on that when i click on that big list will pop up in that you have to search for this particular thing here it is not there the previous one it's in it, it has got a name cam scanner so that folder has got a name cam scanner so under the folder view there will be a big list of fol folders downloads and other things in that cam scanner you have to search click that open once you click that open you will see this particular page so these things will be there the pdf that you have saved is this you can see that it is pdf the file size is 89.88 kb it was three pages and it was one megapixel so 89 kb uh, so this is the pdf let us check it out just click it open see the quality of the uh, file if you are uh, happy with that that's fine you have to test it beforehand uh, so you can test it for three megapixel or one megapixel this is for one megapixel now this with this we have generated the pdf file of scanned pages the quality was good the file size is very low we have renamed it to the required uh, name now we are ready to upload it to the model the next step is we have to upload it to the model for which you require a model app and you should have configured the server settings 
as well as you have logged in with your login ID for the Moodle. This is expected that you are done with this. Plus the assignment or the uh, exam, whatever the upload you have to do, that link should be open. If the link is not open, you can't, you can't upload the file. Now let me assume that you have opened the Moodle. Looks like this. This is the particular uh, link where you have to upload your uh, submissions. Right. So you have to click this. When you click this open, this particular page opens up. Notice that there is one option called there is one uh, box or the uh, image no attempt. All right. That means you are not yet uploaded your file. You can upload one out of unlimited. Means it can be reset. But right now you are given with the one attempt. So you have to click on the add submission. Then this goes. You can upload up to maximum ten MB. This may change. This may change with the from faculty to faculty. It may change. It can be one MB also. So verify for this one. Your file size should be less than this particular size. And you can upload only one file. Now you add the file. Click on add the file. Then this image, this particular box will pop up over and above that. So here you see different options. In this files, you have to go files option. Now you have to go to the file where you have saved your PDF. Remember, when you click this, this particular page opens up. This is one of the most important step in upload. You may make an error. The reason is that whatever screenshot you have taken earlier, that is a scam scanner image you have taken, all those will be listed here. By mistake, if you select that, what will happen is you would have selected JPG images. You are supposed to upload PDF containing about three, four, or five pages. Here, if you select it, you will be uploading any one page, one of those pages. You are not submitting the complete thing. You will be submitting only one page in the image format. This is wrong. You have to upload only the PDF, which is combination of all those images, which is not seen here. For that, what you have to do is you have to click on these uh, three lines. So you, when you click it open, this particular bar will open up. Here there is an option called as File Manager. Now this is the same File Manager which I told you earlier. You have to configure in your mobile. They where WhatsApp and other images and all available. The folders are available. So same file manager it goes. So when you click that file manager, it will go to the same file manager. This is what I was telling you the big list which I didn't show you earlier. Android, all the things will come up here. Here you can see the cam scanner. Okay. So DCAM documents, all those things are there. In between that cam scanner, it's alphabetical order. So cam scanner it come and when you click that, you will get go to the same folder which you, we tested earlier, 89 KB. Right. You have to tick it. As soon as you tick it. This will go back to the uh, Moodle. Uh, automatically it goes. You don't have to go and do anything. When it goes to the Moodle, you can see that a PDF with the particular name is uploaded. You have to verify this file name, all those things. PDF. Most important is this PDF whether it is there. If PDF is there, if PDF file is uploaded. Right? So if at all you find that this is wrong, this is not correct, you can simply click on this delete button. It will go back to the original procedure and you will have to follow all the procedure till now. Once this is complete, you will have to click on save once it, uh, it will ask you for the confirmation you have to press ok once that is completed you can see this one submission in the draft mode there is a high possibility that you will end up here thinking that it is over no it is just saved it is not yet submitted okay you have to observe for this it is draft you are not yet submitted so what you have to do is just verify this again if at all you have still doubt whether you upload a proper file or not you have to you can click on this arrow mark that means it downloads your this is the file you have uploaded so it downloads from the server then you can click on this to open and open the pdf and just check whether you uploaded the correct file if you have not done you can go to the edit submission so it will go back to the all previous procedures so there everything you can edit it completely in the model so you will have to come back in the forward direction up to here now now if if you are looking at the pdf the pdf will be in the full page in your mobile you have to if you have to come back to this Moodle after confirming that uh, the PDF is correct you have to come back to the Moodle right so you can use the minimize window this button option you can use it in your mobile minimize the window and come back to the Moodle at the end you have to submit the assignment as soon as you submit the assignment it will ask you for the confirmation you have to click OK observe this one draft not submitted becomes submitted for grading this is the end of submission you have successfully submitted Still, if you have the doubt, you can click on this particular link. This is the same uh, uh, page I'm showing you. So you can click on this particular link. So once you click on this link, the PDF will open up. If the PDF doesn't open, that means you have 
uh, not uploaded properly you have to consult the faculty for uh, resubmission option yeah that's the end of this uh, uh, video thank you